Hey, welcome to Friday Focus. Today, I wanted to talk to you about selfishness. And I thought I'd start by looking up in the dictionary, well, Google actually, <laughs> the definition of selfish. And selfishness is lacking consideration for other people, concerned chiefly with one's own personal profit or pleasure. So the bit that I really want to hone in on now is the lacking consideration for other people. Because so many of us, so many of us, especially if you're the prime primary carer in your family, you give so much to, to your family. You give so much to other people. You're always putting them first before yourself. You're making sure that everybody else is happy, that everybody else is well fed, that everybody else is nourished. Or maybe even in the workplace, you're making sure that your boss is happy, that your colleagues are happy, that you'll take on the burden of, 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 of maybe a project or something so that no one else has to. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't do any of those things, but what I'd like you to what I'd like to offer you is just to consider for a moment if you took some time out to look after you, to nourish you and to do what you wanted, how much more of a better version of yourself would you be? Because here's what happens when we're doing everything for everybody else. When we're pleasing everybody else and saying yes to things we don't really want to say yes to and making sure the kids are fed and I'll just have a snack or whatever, we feel so exhausted. We feel exhausted and we feel drained. And when we're exhausted and when we're drained, we are not a good version of ourselves. We are not so available to the people that we love. Because when we're exhausted, we find that we're snappy and we find that we're less patient and that we find that, um, you know, we're just, we're just a little bit resentful. And that's, well, not the type of person that I want to be. So I've noticed that actually when I take time out for me, when I focus on myself and when I'm selfish, that actually benefits my family so much more because I'm not exhausted. I'm not impatient. I'm so much more available to them and their needs because I've looked after myself first. And I really love the, um, the analogy of the plane. You know, when you, when you go on a plane trip, a plane journey and the air hostess says that if the oxygen masks drop down, you have to put your oxygen mask on before anybody else's. And the reason for that is because if you pass out, you can't help anybody else. If you're exhausted and you're tired, you, you, you can't look after everybody else. You, you're not as available to them in a way that you want to be. So I really want us to consider that selfishness is actually an amazing gift to give not only ourselves, but the rest of the family that we look after, the people that we look after. Just that those few little, like even if it's just an hour or a couple of hours, and it might just be to sit and read. I'm not, you don't have to necessarily spend lots of money, but you know, even if you just took half an hour of your lunchtime just to sit and read or look at something that you want to look at or do something that you want to do because that makes you a better person and then you're more productive you're more efficient you're so much more available to everybody else emotionally so i just want you to I just want you to question, maybe being selfish is considering other people, 
is giving other people the opportunity to your being your best self for them. And of course, you always get to decide. You always get to choose what you want to do and how you want to do it and when you want to do it. And even just that little shift in terminology, oh, I have to do the cleaning. I have to write this report. I have to um, make sure that I'm cooking healthy food for my children. I have to um, go on social media every day to enhance my business. We don't actually have to do anything. And when we look at it, most of the time we realise that actually we want to clean our house so that it's nice and tidy. We want to cook healthy food for our children. I want to go on social media to promote my business. If you're at work, probably you want to write that report so that you can show the benefits that your team or your department have done this month or this year. So these little changes in terminology, these little shifts in perception and these little sort of nuances of terminology have quite a big impact generally on our lives. And what if we just considered that selfishness was the most amazing thing because it made you the best version of yourself for everybody else? Now, I'm not saying you want to be selfish at the expense of other people, but to better yourself, to be the best version of you, to nourish and love yourself, that is a phenomenal thing to do for yourself. Try it. It might just work. Have a lush weekend. Bye.